Greetings and thank you for giving us this opportunity to come to you today and spend time with you today and through this week. And uh, I would like us this week to spend some time thinking about mindset. We're talking about the posture of our emotional self, our, the way we think and the way we are, maybe position ourselves mentally. You see, as individuals, we could have a positive mindset, positive attitude, or we could have, you know, a negative, pessimistic outlook and mindset. And the mindset, our mindset, or the way we posture ourselves mentally in life circumstances and situations uh, has a, a very significant role to play in the way people relate to us. You know, a person who is positive would really attract people and people enjoy being around someone like that. But a person who is negative, who is pessimistic, who is always despondent and depressive, you know, after some time people will start avoiding that person. They don't want to be around that person because they get pulled down rather than being lifted up. So our mindset affects us personally and also those around us. If you and I maintain a positive mindset, no matter what we face, you know, we're all going to face difficulties, unexpected situations, challenges, all kinds of things in life. And if we maintain a positive mindset, it's going to help us personally to stay strong, to rise above the challenges, to be able to journey forward, to move on, to press through, and so on. And it'll also lift others up. And this becomes very important, you know, especially because all of us are in communities, at home. You relate to your spouse, your children, your parents. Uh, in the workplace, you're relating to people around you. In your neighborhood, you're relating to people around you. So we're all living in communities, and, and, and people around us will get a sense that this person has a positive mindset or a negative mindset. And they will either be drawn to us or stay away from us. So I want to talk about this week of developing a positive mindset based on what God has given to us in His Word. First thing we want to talk about today is having a can-do mindset or attitude. A can-do attitude. Paul the Apostle wrote in Philippians 4 and verse 13, he said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Before that verse, he said, you know, I find myself in different situations. And I'm just paraphrasing it. So he says, I know how to abound. I know how to be in lack. I know how to be in, you know, in good situations. I know how to be in difficult situations. He says, in everything, I can do all things through Christ strengthens me. That's the context. It means regardless of my situations, I can. I'm, I, I understand that my circumstances don't dictate who I am and what I can do, but I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's a can-do mindset. So you and I must learn to live independent of our circumstances and regardless of our circumstances, have a can-do mindset because truly we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Everything He's called us to do, He empowers us to do it. That's why we can. Have a can-do mindset. It's good for you. It's good for those around you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you empower us, Lord that we can do all things to Christ who strengthens us. Whatever He's assigned for us, we can do it because He empowers us. He strengthens us. Help us to have that can-do mindset. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.